Hi guys, welcome to vlog 28 and welcome to Bombay here in India where I've been living for the past one or two weeks. If you guys maybe watched any of the Whatever Wednesdays videos, I'll put a couple of those up on the YouTube channel which has been kind of fun to do and I've been working a lot. I've been doing a lot of work on my film. I've undertaken one interview for my film already. I have another two lined up over the next week so that's going really well. So I want to show you around some of what I've been doing. So we're going to see a bit of the Gateway of India. Um, the Gateway of India is really interesting because I think they're building it to welcome the King and Queen of England back in 1912 or 1913 and they had these great plans to build it however by the time the King and Queen arrived actually uh, it wasn't built yet and they had like a cardboard mock-up and I think it was actually finished on like Indian building schedule around 10 years later <laughs> so that's quite cool so I'm going to show you a little bit of that today actually we're going to do a bit of a live vlog so I'm going to take the camera and my bag and everything I'm going to go jump on a bus and go across Bombay to Chor Bazaar Chor Bazaar is this supposedly sprawling marketplace I've got no idea what it is if it's going to be like brass trinkets or it's going to be just be fruit and veg but we'll go have a look and see how that is and it looks like it's in a really interesting and lively area coffee is kind of interesting here because a lot of the street vendors sell coffee for like mm, 10 rupees but it's already pre-made or pre-mixed with milk and uh, I'm vegan so I can't really have this pre-made coffee with the um, the milk in because I was like why can't I have it black just give it to me before you put the milk in and then they're like no no, no already mixed and like ah, I see so I want to run up the street and what I do is I get a black coffee and then I go to the supermarket and you can get some like chocolate soy milk, squeeze that little guy in and then I have like a kind of uh, chocolate iced mocha thing or whatever, but it works anyway. So we're gonna go do that and then go jump on the bus. Let's go. So among the things I usually get offered to buy is a sari, um, a handbag, maybe it's a long hair. Half grand flute. A flute. <laughs> okay guys, good news, I got the black coffee. Now we're going to run to the supermarket. I'm going to show you around there real fast. I'm going to get some chocolate soy milk, smash it in this black coffee and make it a chocolate maca iced thing or something. So just been in the supermarket, I wasn't allowed to film inside so uh, I was able to turn the camera off. But I got one of these, it's like a uh, chocolate soy milk. So I'm going to mix that in with my coffee in a moment. And these guys, they're called like Masala Munch. They're so good, they're basically like curry kind of potato chips. But they're really, really good. But actually this supermarket is kind of cool, it's like a hundred years old. It used to be like a political building where they used to undertake formalities and those kinds of things. It has like a statue of Gandhi inside which I can't film, but I've got a photo, so I'll show you here. Yeah, anyway, I want to make my coffee and then go get the bus. Okay, so we're nearly at the bus stop. We're going to take the uh, 124 bus, which uh, is about 22 rupees, which is about 30 cents or 20p. Um, and that takes me about six miles across town. The bus is really cool, it's these like 1950s style uh, British double-decker buses and they're really cool, really rickety and you roll around a lot, but yeah, they're good fun. Okay guys, so we're on the bus. It's going to be a bit of a bumpy ride, so I won't talk for too long while I'm on the bus. But I was thinking, why don't I show you a little bit of the Gateway of India, which I already looked around a little bit a couple of days ago. So I'll show you a bit of that footage um, before we kind of arrive at the Bazaar in a little while. So let's cut to that. Morning guys, it is 7.45am and I've just been here at the uh, India Gate right here 
or the gate of India here in Bombay uh, to watch sunrise um, and now the sun's kind of breaking through and it's giving me this beautiful little orange glow on my face and yeah it's beautiful so yeah staying in my hostel last night this uh, Indian girl called uh, Shimante uh, she's from Delhi and she was gonna come and see the sunrise and I was thinking of doing it so I thought by going with her she would make me um, wake up early Shimante say hello I'm from Calcutta. From Calcutta, and you live? I live in Delhi. You live in Delhi. And how has your time been in Bombay? It's been great. I loved exploring all the places here. If you could describe Bombay in two words, what would they be? Can I say one? Yeah. Uh, I'd say it's beautiful. And can I say why? Uh, because it's close to the sea and you can just go and sit on the seashore at Marine Drive and you can forget all about your troubles. And it's a really great feeling. People should visit India to see its diversity. So you, kind all, you find all kinds of people and places here, right from mountains to seashores and you find a great diversity in people as well. And I think overall you'll find them quite friendly and hospitable. <laughs> hey guys, so we're pretty much just arriving at uh, the stop to get off. We're going to go walk around and find the Chor Bazaar. So we're in the area where Chor Bazaar is. Uh, it's a huge like uh, flyover up there. Um, so it's pretty noisy, even more than usual in Bombay. It's a really kind of fun and cool area. I've passed this twice on the bus in the last week and I really wanted to stop and get up here and have a look around. Just in the area in general, I had to tie my hair up, it's so hot, so hot. It's just really sweaty. Well, let's go, let's go take a look around. So after a quick look around, it seems to be like one of those slightly crazy markets where they sell literally everything, hence the name Bazaar, which is the old term for market of course. And they have all the, like these old kind of lamps, cricket bats, goats, pretty much anything you'd want to buy but possibly don't need <coughs> is in this place. <laughs> so this place caught my attention right away. It's got all these like vintage old cameras hanging down from the shop front. Have a look at these guys. So you have a spy camera? Like a spy old model camera. Let's have a look, what do you this have? It's Argus decorative camera, very rare. Oh wow. Slide. So cool. So these are proper like real antique vintage so real things. Antique. Yeah, yeah. This is from 1919. 1919. Woo! And where do you buy your cameras from? You buy them online or like you no. sort of like house collections and people... Some people want to sell their collection. Oh, I can't buy it. No. But thank you very much. So let me have a look around and I appreciate it. So there really are different parts of the market. I mean, this is like a kind of electronics kind of side a little bit with the old cameras. Um, there's some like kind of gym equipment and some weights, more cricket bats. And then eventually I think it goes on to more fruit and vegetables and that kind of stuff. But old gramophones, anything, a lot of noise. Shaw Bazaar is one of those places you could probably find anything you'd ever need. So in those mechanics pile of bits and parts and drills and spanners and everything, you could probably find the right size screw you're looking for. At the same time, there's also nothing here I need <laughs> at all. But it's great to walk around. Okay guys, so I'm totally melting in this heat. Um, that's the end of the bazaar. I think we kind of walked around most of it. I just had a cool little game of cricket with the local kids, which is fun. And I actually, I actually got one out. I hit the ball and everything. And like, I, I forgot to run and do that part, but I hit the ball. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I want to go now. But um, one thing I wanted to show you guys, actually, is when you've walked around Bombay all day, it's really hot and sweaty, and it's noisy and crazy yes. and busy. Yes. It's kind of nice to go chill out. And there's this place called Marine Drive. So I'm going to switch to Robbie in Marine Drive and show you a little bit of that. So guys, one thing I wanted to show you here in uh, Bombay, in Mumbai is Marine Drive. Marine Drive is this like a beautiful curving kind of promenade that goes all the way around the Bombay Harbour. It's one of those sort of rare moments where everyone in Bombay around five, six o'clock at night all kind of head down to Marine Drive to kind of watch the sunset, which is going on right now. In a city which is so noisy and so busy and so hectic all the time, um, it's kind of nice, I guess, for everyone to have like just one or two minutes kind of peace. 
Okay guys, so I just got back to uh, where I'm staying. But one thing I wanted to show you before this vlog is finished is actually this weekend I made it into the local Mumbai newspaper. Um, it's called the Free Press Journal, which is a city-wide newspaper read by most of the people here. And they really took an interest in my Four Sides of a Coin project for the book and the film I'm making. Um, you can read all about that by clicking the link below, the Indiegogo link in the description box here below. But yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys. It's really cool. Okay guys, so that just about brings us up to date. What more can I tell you about the first one or two weeks of my time here in Mumbai. Uh, I got a shave in the street. I got a street barber to shave my face real good. You can go and watch that on this week's episode of Whatever Wednesdays by clicking the video in my channel. I went to a cafe, one of the few cafes that still serves black coffee. Um, and on the menu, they had brain. I mean, like, I get it. Cultures are very different and we all enjoy different things, but I'm from the UK and brain, wow, just wow. Anyway, moving swiftly on from brains to balls, they've been sweaty. It's been so hot this past week. You can really tell the temperature in India is starting to really get hotter and hotter. And it's only gonna continue to get hotter and hotter all the way through the rest of March and into April. So uh, yeah, anyway, I'll shut up, let you guys get back to whatever you're doing. Um, if you like this video, uh, click the thumbs up and hit the like button. If you wanna leave a comment and tell me if you loved it or hated it, do that below and then I'll reply right back to you. Um, and if you wanna see more videos like this or some of my other videos, subscribe to the channel. Meanwhile, as they say here in Mumbai, Wam bam alu up and wam bam au revoir. Goodbye. 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 Goodb